China and Russia have joined forces to spend 1.5 trillion yuan to jointly build a high-speed railway that can run through Europe and Asia. It is reported that the total length of this high-speed rail is more than 7,000 kilometers, and it passes through the territory of three countries. It can be described as an extremely spectacular super project. Once this news was announced, the whole world cast envious glances, even the Americans felt extremely jealous. Let's take a closer look in this video. The quality and achievements of China's infrastructure projects are deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. It has completed many super projects that shocked the world and successfully promoted many infrastructure projects abroad and even reached cooperation with some friendly countries on many infrastructure projects. For example, Russia, which has a deep friendship with China, once invited Chinese construction teams to help them repair the subway. Not only that, China and Russia once again reached a super-project cooperation, preparing to build a transnational high-speed rail. Once the project is completed, it will promote the rapid development of China and Russia. As soon as this news came out, it immediately caused a sensation in the world, and Western countries also cast envious eyes. The United States was also shocked after receiving the news, and then said that the cooperation between China and Russia will completely break the economic blockade of the United States. So what exactly is this high-speed rail project? And why did it cause panic in the United States? How did China complete this project? In recent years, China and Russia have strengthened cooperation, especially in infrastructure construction. Due to the backward status of Russian railways and the pressure from the economic blockade of Western countries, China and Russia decided to cooperate to build a 7,000 km high-speed railway in Russia, passing through the three countries of China, Russia, and Mongolia. The high-speed rail project is expected to build a high-speed rail from Beijing to Moscow, passing through Kazakhstan and then arriving in Moscow, connecting the three countries in series. In the past, the time from Beijing to Moscow was about seven days, but after the completion of the high-speed rail, the time from Beijing to Moscow can be shortened to about 30 hours. It can be said that the time for exchanges between the two countries has been greatly saved and the efficiency has been improved, which is of great significance for stimulating exchanges in surrounding areas. This huge project can not only shorten the travel time between China and Russia, realize the goal of only two days from Beijing to Moscow, but also break the economic blockade imposed by Western countries on Russia. However, realizing a high-speed rail project spanning three countries is not easy. From the perspective of railway development, China has rich experience in high-speed railway construction and is known as the second in the world, and its infrastructure strength is also deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. As of 2022, the operating mileage of China's railways has reached 155,000 kilometers, an increase of 86,300 kilometers compared with 2000, while Russian railways have only 85,500 kilometers, an increase of only 9,400 kilometers. Considering that Russia is the country with the largest territory in the world, such backward railway development cannot promote the economic prosperity of the region. Therefore, Russia plans to build a high-speed railway from Moscow to Kazan, with a total length of about 770 kilometers to promote economic development in the eastern region. However, due to limited technical capabilities, Russia had to seek help from other countries. After Western countries put forward an offer of 50 million US dollars per kilometer, China offered an offer of 33 million US dollars per kilometer. 
Because China has rich operating experience in alpine regions and advanced high-speed rail technology, the cost has been greatly reduced. In addition, China's high-speed rail trains can still operate normally in extremely cold environments, which solves many problems faced by trains, such as snow on the bottom of the trains, frozen vehicles, and trains idling and sliding. By adopting innovative technologies such as alpine filter screens, equipping cotton clothes, and introducing automatic anti-freezing functions, China has ensured the safety of trains and the reliability of their operations. The construction of the world's longest high-speed rail line between China and Russia is not only of great economic significance, but also has a profound impact on the relationship between the two countries. First of all, the construction of high-speed rail will greatly promote the trade between China and Russia. At present, trade between China and Russia mainly relies on railway transportation. Due to climate reasons, the transportation time needs at least half a month. The completion of the high-speed rail will greatly shorten the transportation time of goods and accelerate the economic activities between the two countries. Secondly, the construction of the China to Russia high-speed railway also helps resource replacement. Russia is rich in oil, gas, and mineral resources, and China has huge demand for these resources. After negotiation between the two parties, Russia will exchange these resources for China's high-speed rail technology. Through resource replacement, the pressure on the Russian economy from the conflict in Ukraine can be relieved, and at the same time, it will help promote the construction of the Moscow to Beijing high-speed rail project. Most importantly, the completion of the China to Russia high-speed railway will help Russia break the economic blockade imposed on it by Western countries. Since the outbreak of the Ukraine crisis, Western countries have imposed economic sanctions on Russia such as oil price limits and natural gas, which has caused Russia to fall into economic difficulties. If the Moscow to Beijing high-speed rail project is completed, the economies of China and Russia will develop rapidly, thus laying the first step for Russia to break the economic blockade. The construction of China-Russia high-speed railway is facing many challenges. The biggest problem, without a doubt, comes from the economy. 1.5 trillion, such a high cost is an astronomical figure in the eyes of ordinary people. For the government of a big country, this investment will also bring considerable economic pressure. The current Russian economy is in a state of tension, and its government's inability to raise sufficient funds is also a major problem. Although the Chinese government can directly invest and absorb commercial financing, people cannot estimate the economic benefits that this project can bring. While maximizing the social benefits, China must consider the economic benefits of the project. Otherwise, if the situation is not clear, the investment risks in China will be greatly increased. The second major problem is geological difficulties. Since the high-speed rail line needs to run through high-latitude regions, the project will inevitably encounter permafrost problems. If the construction is started in permafrost, the high-speed rail line must be maintained frequently, the maintenance cost will be greatly increased in the later period, and the maintenance difficulty will also increase. Once an accident occurs, it will endanger the safety of vehicles and personnel between the two countries. The third is the issue of gauge. Due to historical reasons, China and Russia have adopted different gauge standards. China has a standard gauge of 1,435 mm, while Russia has a wide gauge of 1,520 mm. Therefore, the choice in construction needs to be negotiated and weighed. Finally, there are difficulties in engineering construction. 
The China to Russia high speed rail crosses the territory of Mongolia, which involves many aspects such as terrain, environment, and culture. It is conceivable that the difficulty is great. In addition, due to the different political and economic backgrounds between China and Russia, it is also necessary to solve the problems of transnational cooperation, such as material supply and personnel management. However, despite the many difficulties and challenges, the prospect of China to Russia high speed rail is bright. On the one hand, the construction of the China to Russia high speed railway will strengthen the economic ties between the two countries, promote trade exchanges and investment cooperation, and further consolidate and strengthen the strategic partnership between the two countries. On the other hand, the construction of the China to Russia high speed rail is also a valuable development opportunity for China, which can further promote China's high speed rail technology, equipment, and services to the international market and enhance China's reputation and influence in the field of global high speed rail construction. China's technological advantages and rich experience as the construction party will provide a solid guarantee for the project and will also bring huge economic benefits. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.